This is our annual uh, batch of kokanee salmon that we stock in the river below Shadow Mountain Dam. They head down the river, find their way to Lake Granby. We stock a million fish every year, and we just do this once a year. This is the whole batch for the whole year, a million fish all in one shot. CPW reached out to me. They were going to do some stocking of kokanee salmon below Shadow Mountain in the river. Normally they try to do this during the peak runoff where we have a little bit higher flows. This year, the flows had already dropped off, so he may request see if we could increase those up to around 1,000 CFS. Try to get everything coordinated so that the, the river's already up. If we need to, we often will ask for alteration in operations to get uh, more water coming down the river to shoot these uh, fish down the river a little bit better, and, and that's what we were able to do today, and we're uh, eternally grateful for that. It's, it's a huge help to be able to get a little extra water out of shadow to get those fish moving down. Between Northern and Bureau of Reclamation water scheduling, we made some operational changes, increased our reservoir elevations a little bit, ran a unit at far pump plant to try to bring a little more water in, but operationally that helps us get fresh water into our pen stock and cleaning up the canal a little bit. We made those changes, brought a unit on this morning. About 10 o'clock this morning, we increased flows out of Shadow Mountain and took those up to 1100 CFS and we'll hold those for about four hours and then we'll drop them down a couple hundred CFS every two hours till we get back to our normal operating range for releases. It was a good joint effort between Northern Bureau and CPW to get everything lined up and scheduled and done in pretty short order. I mean, the purpose of stocking them here is that they head down the river, find their way to Lake Granby, grow up for three to four years and mature and then they come back here being salmon like any other salmon they want to come back to where they were born they weren't born here but they come right back to the place that you stock them and so because we collect eggs here below shadow mountain dam uh, in the hatcheries this is where we want them to to return to once they're ready to spawn they're a really good fish for our fluctuating reservoirs they're just out there in the open water and they filter feed on zooplankton which our lakes are actually really good at producing they're a rare example of a of a sport fish that feeds on zooplankton that can be caught by recreational anglers and they also provide a prey prey base for our trophy lake trout fishery. Without a good kokanee population, we wouldn't have 40-inch lake trout out there. That's, that's what uh, they use as a forage base.